and welcome back to Homestead Corner. This week I have got a $75 produce stock up haul from a few different places. So it's November and we are working on stuffing that pantry. I have been canning all the stuff that comes out of our garden through the summer, the stuff that we didn't eat fresh. Um, we make sure we get that canned and dehydrated and put into the pantry. There are a few things that either didn't grow that good or we don't grow, or I just wanted to get more of more than we could grow. And I like to do that in November once the weather cools down and we start having sales on produce like root vegetables and things like that so we can get as much as possible in the pantry. So today I did a $60 haul at Walmart. So the other $15 I spent down at a local farm and I picked up a 50 pound bag of potatoes. Um, and they're really affordable that way and that's usually how I try to buy them when I'm canning them, using them for soups and stews and things like that. I picked these up the other day and I did bust them open and grabbed a few out of there while I was canning chicken soup uh, last night. And I just wanted to make sure that I have plenty of potatoes in the pantry. So the rest of this stuff I picked up at Walmart and um, just either on sale or just a good deal for this time. And we wanna get as much as we can in that pantry. So let me get behind the camera and I'll show you the rest of the stuff we got. Okay, so in addition to the 50 pound bag of potatoes that I picked up, I also grabbed four pounds of lemons to dehydrate. Uh, we like to add these to all sorts of stuff and that way I don't have to buy them when they're super, super expensive. These were pretty affordable, about $2 a pound. Um, so uh, I think it was $4 for two pounds. So I bought two bags, it was the only two bags they had. I wanted to get more, but I have to wait until they get that restocked. And then carrots are on sale this time of year. So these were about $4 for a five pound bag. So we will be canning up this 20 pounds of carrots. There are four or five pound bags here. And we're, I'm just gonna can these up. Half of them we will do glazed carrots and the other half I do um, just regular plain carrots when I can those. I also grabbed a couple of the small red beans, two one pound packages at Walmart. They're about $1.40, $1.50 a pound, but these are beans that we can't get at Dollar Tree, so I do grab them at, um, at Walmart. And I also picked up two pounds of the navy beans, so we have those as well, because we like to have a good variety of beans in our stockpile. And the celery was on sale for 99 cents a package. I wasn't planning on getting it, but I do like to have it dehydrated in the pantry. So um, in the winter time for soups and stews, and it's really fast when you've got it all dehydrated. So I grabbed three packages of those just to get into the dehydrator and get that started. And then on the cranberries, they have um, this time of year, uh, they're fresh, they're just harvesting the cranberries and Walmart has these for $1.50 for a 12 ounce bag. And I normally get them from a local farm, Rickers, but they, um, theirs are quite a bit more. They're like $2.69 for a 12 ounce package. And it's a little cheaper at the farm, but the cost of gas, it's just, it was a better deal just to grab them at the grocery store. and these will make cranberry juice and a few different kinds of drinks and things like that that we love to have this time of year and i also found uh four packages of mushrooms on sale and these are just the white sliced mushrooms and they were marked down to 2.79 a piece a savings of 49 cents but i always grab them when they're on sale because any savings is helpful so i grabbed three one pound packages that they had on sale and then they had one of the eight ounce packages so i grabbed that as well and uh, we're just going to can those up it's super easy and fast and i also grabbed a four pound bag of just some apples 
so we can do some apple slices and things like that in the dehydrator. So we like to, no matter how you're preserving it, whether you're canning it or dehydrating or anything like that, if you can't grow it, you can definitely buy it on sale and preserve it at home. So we're always switching up what we're prepping and what we're putting into the pantry because we want to make sure we have a good variety. So I don't get the same things every week and I don't do big canning hauls like this um, very often because I do my regular canning from the season, everything we're growing. And then in the fall, once it cools down, then I will start doing those soups and extra dehydrating, anything that I find on sale that I can get into the pantry cheaper than normal. I snag those right up and either dehydrate them or can them or whatever I need to do to them to preserve them. So we've got them in the pantry and they're going to last us. So don't forget, you know, you this time of year is a great time to get those extra, especially root vegetables, squashes, cabbages, things like that. This month, they're going to be the cheapest, this month and next month. So snagging a little extra when you can and getting it canned up or dehydrated and put back in the pantry is going to be helpful for you and your family as things progressively get more expensive and there's less and less on the shelves. I mean, we've never seen it get fixed from the whole COVID debacle there with the shipping crisis. That's never really come back full, uh, not in our area anyway. We saw it look kind of good for a little while, but we still have holes and there's still low stock on a lot of things. I mean, like today, two packages of lemons was all there was in the store. So I grabbed the two packages that I could. And we see that across the board at all the stores. So we wanna make sure we've got plenty of the things that our family uses and needs. And that's it for today. I hope you guys all have an amazing weekend and stay busy. We have got to be prepared because this world is nuts. And <laughs> it's just insane. And I kind of chuckle about it sometimes and I probably shouldn't, but it's just ridiculous nuts. So. I, you know, it's my way to cope with this craziness. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.